Hello and welcome to Tea with Aison. Get yourself some coffee or tea, anything you want to drink and make yourself comfortable and let's start. Hey, I am Aison. I am from Germany but I'm studying in Scotland and my parents are Turkish. I'm really into movies and books and spirituality and that kind of stuff and today I planned a totally different video and then I filmed it again because it was out of focus and then I noticed it was out of focus again and life just surprises you sometimes because then some things happened and maybe this is a better video I don't know but let's work with what we have Today I wanted to talk about the struggle of struggling because I have the feeling very often that we don't allow ourselves to struggle. I for myself have that picture of the perfect me and I love myself and it's completely fine when I struggle but I don't allow myself to do it. I feel like that person that I am has to be productive and has to get stuff done and has to do a million things at the same time but sometimes you just need a little bit of an off day a little bit of rest time and it's so difficult sometimes because you have this perfect picture of what you should be and what you're supposed to do and then you just don't know how to be that person you feel like you're disappointing yourself just because you don't live up to that standard. But you put up that standard in the first place, right? It's not about it's not about other people. It's about the standard that you have towards yourself or the expectations that you have towards yourself. And those are just so high. And you're not doing that to anyone else. If your friend would be like, oh, I'm struggling right now and stuff, you would never be like, oh, you're failing or you should do more and it just doesn't make any sense because it only seems to apply to yourself. Also, the fact that I'm studying abroad, it's a huge privilege. I love my friends here, I love my life here, but sometimes it's just so hard not to be with your family when you feel like you should be together or when you feel like they could need you or you could be some kind of support and they would support you and when things happen you want to be there for them but you just can't and the fear of missing out the fear of not being there when things happen is so valid in my opinion because when I'm with my family in Germany I feel like I'm missing out on the stuff that I could have done with my friends and when I'm with my friends I feel like I'm not connected enough to my family and it's just a struggle and the fact that we're in a global pandemic obviously we're allowed to struggle and these problems are completely normal and the fact that I'm fine 99% of the time is something that I'm really grateful for but at the same time you feel like I'm fine so I have to be fine all the time and you want to do it by yourself as well you don't want to accept help because you want to help every other person possible but why should the other person help you right because you're perfect the other person doesn't have to help you you can help others but when it comes to you, you're fine by yourself. That's so hypocritical and it's so unfair towards my friends sometimes because I take away the opportunity for them to connect with me and to bond with me on another level just because I'm like, I'm fine and I put up this wall of perfection that is just not true. And I don't give them the chance to help me and they give me the opportunity to help them and it's just it's just a bit sad because they care about me but I don't allow them to help me and when I think of it in another way 
I love to help them. So this joy of helping someone else, I don't give them to chance to, to live that and to experience that. And that's just not fair towards them. But it is something that I've done my whole life. This sense of perfection, the sense of I'm good on my own and the feeling that I have to be independent probably because I grew up as an immigrant child and I always knew when push comes to shove I have myself and my family always supported me and stuff but when you grew up, grow up as an immigrant child you know that you just have to get stuff done on your own because your parents won't be able to help you because you have another perception, you're fluent in the language of the country and stuff and they're doing their best but I was on my own in a lot of moments and the fear of depending on someone is so deeply rooted in my psyche that it's just hard. It's hard to let go and it's hard to let other people into my life in general because I love to talk about other people, but when it comes to myself, I don't have to talk because I'm, I'm fine. And obviously I am fine. When other people cry, they're not on the rage of, I don't know what kind of crisis. Sometimes they just want to talk. And that you have downtimes doesn't have to do with your worth or value at any point. It has to do with you opening up and you being vulnerable enough and that is something very courageous that I still have to learn. It is definitely a learning curve and I think that I've opened up way more than I have in the past but I'm still not where I want to be or where I feel like I should be which is again expectation towards myself so it is just a vicious cycle. I don't know if this is valuable towards anyone because I'm just talking to a camera, but tea with ice and I actually feel like a fraud because this is water and I didn't want tea because I feel kind of hot, but it is what it is. The fact that I feel like I can't have a day where I don't do anything is also kind of concerning because it's understandable that I like to keep myself busy. I love being busy, I love working, I love being creative. But this fear of emptiness when I don't do anything, we should be able to just do nothing and stare at the wall or be in our thoughts, lost in our thoughts at some point. But the fear of emptiness shows maybe that I fear the thoughts that I could have if I just would let go. I have the feeling that when I'm too vulnerable with people, I give up some kind of control. The fear of letting go, like I said in the past, is just so strong because I don't want to give up control at any point. I want to have the control in any given situation and there are not a lot of people in in the world that I would trust with a lot of serious things. So I just feel like when I have the control things could go better which doesn't make sense because sometimes other people just know better and when I decide to trust someone that is also me having control right because I can just decide that that was a mistake for example as well and stop trusting that person but the fact that I'm letting someone into my life and that I'm not sure if that person will stay for example or if that person will really keep my secrets or I don't know it's just hard sometimes I love myself I really do I value myself but at the same time I have this side in me that when I'm not successful I feel like I haven't accomplished enough and that is I think because I want to achieve so many things that I feel like if I let go I will never achieve what I really want from life 
And if I don't do it, no one will do it. But at the same time, my value shouldn't be connected at all to the kind of success that I have. Because if I fail in the worst case scenario, it's fine and I can start anew and failure is completely normal. I think life is about failing so much that at the end you just have no other option than succeeding. And what I like to do is getting the failures, it's getting the failures that I'm going to experience either way out of the way as soon as possible. But trying to push myself to do that in a very short amount of time and trying to be as productive as possible is not healthy as well. And I'm young. I should live my life. I should sometimes just do nothing, go out with friends, yeah, even though we have COVID, but let's ignore that. Travel, that kind of stuff. And when I'm just busy working or doing stuff, I miss out on life, which is pretty sad. So, I assume, try to let go for a bit. And person, the person who's watching this, I don't know if you can relate at all. Let me know about your struggle. Let me know if I'm the only one that experiences this kinds of things, these kinds of things, or if you have experienced something similar, if you have similar thoughts, and if you have any suggestions, if you want to talk about something, just let me know, hit me up if you feel lonely at any point, and have a great day. See you in the next video.